Hi, Internet! I'm Litchwreck, and this is Day of the Tentacle, remastered, re-released, repackaged, and rebought by me. Except I didn't buy it the first time. I, I would have started on, like, a title screen, but, uh, the, 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 the title screen kind of faded away real quick without my intervention. So, we're gonna start with the opening menu. Here it is. It's a lovely living room. So, um, this is actually going to be the opposite of what most of my Let's Plays are going to be, well, what most of my Let's Plays have been like, wherein I'm starting a game completely blind. Uh, by contrast, this is actually a game that I grew up with. In fact, I would say this is a defining game of my childhood. I've only completed the game, I believe, maybe once or twice in my life, and it's been a very long time since I've actually played it. So, there's some things that I've forgotten, but I'm pretty sure I remember the solution to many of the puzzles, so... Hooray! We're not gonna have to wait for me sifting through a bunch of stuff that I'm not understanding. I understand many of the puzzles in this, and it's gonna be quite uh, simplistic, hopefully, as long as I can remember. But, uh, I wouldn't be explaining the game right here, but I think the opening cutscene is actually much, 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 uh, better at doing that than me, who stumbles over words and doesn't understand how to form sentences. So here we go! New game- oh! Would you like to enable the developer's commentary? Uh, ooh, I might like to listen to that later, but for the sake of the let's play, no. So let's just play the game the way it is. Ooh. Ooh. I remember this. Except it wasn't widescreen before. You would have, like, letterboxes on the sides. But yeah, this is a Lucas Arge Ooh! Oh! Oh, the water! Oh, the water is rippled! Oh, the art! Oh, hello, bird. I remember this. I remember all the- Oh, the frame rate is so smooth! Oh, I love it already. Yeah, this is more or less what the game- Ooh, Sorry, I won't interrupt the cutscene. Let's watch. There they are. The quote-unquote bad guys of the game. Hmm, I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. Take on the world. Oh, this is just like I remember it, except not as boxy, and the, I'm wondering how they remaster sound, because it's all so smooth. Oh, there, my friends! Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster! Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like, we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster! Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison. And it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. You can he actually read the letter. Tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion okay so uh, this is actually gonna be the title sequence and I'm, I'm, I'm I think I'm allowed to talk through this because not much gets said I'm gonna see if I can't put subtitles on so that people can read it just in case it's not loud enough in editing but uh, what Bernard was saying there Bernard is the nerd by the way uh, Bernard was saying that he has to go back to the mansion funny enough this game is actually kind of a sequel ish because it's based off of an old NES game called Manic Mansion, which I believe you can actually play in this game. Like, there's a computer system that has it installed, and you can actually play the original game. I believe it's in Ed's room, if that's his name. We'll meet that character later, though. Uh, I remember this game used to run on DOS, and for whatever reason, whenever I tried to play the NES version of the game in the DOS game, it didn't work because I feel like they just weren't integrated properly in the original game. Like, every time I played the original one, it would just bug out. But maybe that was because my computer was crap. Or maybe it was just uh, the periphery I was using. I was using a mouse and keyboard, which should have worked, but it didn't. 
Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. Uh, is there anything else that I need to go over before we actually start the game? I'm trying to think. Hmm. Mm. Okay, I can go over the uh, characters. Uh, Bernard is a nerd. He was one of the characters in the original game. Uh, I can't remember what his skill set was, but the original game was sort of an adventure puzzle adventure game like this, where you have to uh, choose the characters you want to start with, and you get three, and you're trying to save this one lady from the mansion after she's been kidnapped and is, everyone is being controlled by some weird alien meteorite. And um, he's the original character. Hoagie and Laverne, which is the rock star and the med student in that order, are new characters. Oh, there's Edna in the window. We'll meet her too. Uh, they're new. Hoagie okay. is a. Oop. We'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? The answer to that- Oh, I wanted to answer that question, but I guess this is the actual menu of things that I actually have to use to control the game. Uh, give me a sec, I'm gonna take a look at this real quick. Okay, I've taken a quick look at it and I'm almost certain I'm going to forget something later, but I've mostly understood how this is. This is- This is fine, I guess. This is an update on the actual- Oh, hold on. What's this? Oh, here's my inventory. Okay, so this is an update on what the actual thing used to actually, what the menu used to look like, the way you interact. It used to be one of those three by three grids where, can I move or do I have to click to move? I do have to click to move. So I, yep. Oh, that's cool. Uh, also, I found out that this button will turn it into the old style mode. Look at this. Oh yeah, this is exactly what it looks like. Oh, memories from childhood and nostalgia, but back to new, because I like looking at the art and listening to the fancy new uh, sound design, I guess, because they were able to fix the uh, weird bit crushed voice files, which was straight. Uh, I'm wonder I like, I'm really curious how they do that, but uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna get started with the game and I'm gonna try to remember what I was saying. I was explaining who uh, Laverne and Hoagie were. Can I pick this up? Oh, there it is. Okay, so can I uh, pick that up? I'm gonna, I might need that later. I will probably definitely need that later, later otherwise they wouldn't have given it to me. Uh... It's permanently attached to the countertop. Okay. Uh, ooh, oh, that's a thing that I need to do. I need to put on subtitles real quick. Give me another sec. Okay, I think I put subtitles on. Is this correct? It's permanently attached to the There countertop. they are. That, those are not good subtitles, but it keeps it in uh, style of what the game originally used to look like. Like the subtitles would just appear above their head. Now continuing my original idea. Uh, Laverne is a med student. She's kind of crazy, as you saw from her walk cycle when she was bobbing up and down with her arms to the side because she's a kook. And... Uh, Hoagie is a roadie for a band. I'm not, I don't think he's in the band, but I think he does like the effects and stuff. Because he looks like a metalhead, doesn't he? Uh, can I actually use this? I don't think this does anything, if I re recall. This is just here for a uh, flavor. Push, pull, use. Nope. Alright. Anything else I can do? Oh yeah, and the cactus has a name. You can't see it from here because I'm not close enough. There it is. Chuck the plant. There we go. Open the door. Oh, right. I have to right click it now. Okay. Uh, ooh, the Swiss bank book. Here's the uh, doctor, by the way. The, the one that we're trying to um, save this time, I guess. But he was under control by the media right in the first game. So I'm going to uh, 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 pick it up. There we go. I'm going to have to memorize what these actually mean. And I can't. I think I. I don't have what I need to actually use this phone. Like, I can use it, I but. I my little black book at home. But I don't have, like, a number to call. Yet! And there's gonna be a lot of Star Wars references. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Because this is made by LucasArts, uh, as you can see by here, is Darth Vader. And then uh, later on, they're gonna. There's an infomercial talking about Star Wars. There's gonna be a lot of Star Wars references, I'm sure. So, I believe there's something behind this portrait. Oh, yep, open. Oh, wait, it's a safe. I can't actually open this yet. I know how to solve this puzzle. I just have to f remember when that happens. It's not yet, though. So we're going to open this and see what else is inside. 
Boo boo be gone. I remember what that's for. I think. No, wait. No, I don't remember what it's for. I remember what I need to use it on. But like I said, I want to. Well, I didn't actually say this. I want to keep everything a secret so that everything feels organic. But I do know quite a bit of the answers to these puzzles. So when they come up, I'm going to answer them. Uh, Laverne went in here. Hoagie went up here. So the only place left to go. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Aha. A secret passage. Yes. This is all too easy. It goes straight down to the bear's mud. Ow. I remember that. Ow. It's gonna be a lot of me saying I remember things. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just there something is. I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? He remembers me. Here they are. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> I also forgot that they were Wait. in the game too. The tentacles used to be characters in the oh, old game. Yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. How come the purple one didn't well, have the sound? What possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? <laughs> Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred. Fred, what that was his name. This time, you meddling milk toast. Now, Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity. Hooray! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge o magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. But Isn't it's it already in that, the Doctor? river. How are we going to of fix course. it? That why I'll have to do it. Yesterday! Through the time machine! Time travel! This is where the game is, is actually going to start now. This is your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogon! Doc, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Here we go. I remember when I was a, uh, I was a kid, this was my favorite sequence of the game. The, like, the actual time travel sequence. Well, I'll be. It's very short, though. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I forgot this part. Oh, no, this part is probably what my favorite Bernard, part was, actually. Float over here so, so I, I can, can punch, punch you. you. <laughs> this must be that Woodstock place mom and dad are always talking about. And now I understand that joke as an adult. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. These are all premonitions of what happens later in the game. Yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. A quack! It works! I can't believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Zirconium, I believe is its name. Oh dear. Uh-oh. Now remember Hoagie. I remember this sequence going by really fast, though. This part, especially. Just everybody's sort of vignette there. So now, we are all separated throughout time. And none of us have landed where we need to be, actually. I just came straight back. I wasn't in yesterday. I'm still in today. Except I got flushed down. Oh, dear. So now, we each have, uh... Different goals to what fix. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? 
My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. He can't. It's I diamond, will. bro. As soon as I get a new diamond, then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? There's an answer to that. Well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? We're going to send him to the toilet. With details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out <laughs> of my house. Let's get cracking. I feel like I'm five again. But to answer those questions that Bernard was having, the um, the answer to this is uh, the toilet. We flush things down the toilet and we can send them to the other people through time. So if we send something like, I don't know, let's say the flyer I have, if I send it into the chronogon and I specifically specify a uh, hoagie as its destination, he can pick it up later and use it. I'm not gonna do that. But as I was saying earlier, everyone has different goals that they have uh, in order Maybe to actually- I put them that's got to be it. Upstairs! Yeah, they're totally up there, and they're definitely not in this room. I'm pretty sure that I... Oh, no, I actually don't remember where the plans are. But uh, we all have different goals. Bernard's specific goal is get a replacement diamond for the machine so that it can actually work. And I believe Hoagie's is to actually get electricity running so that he can... Uh, you know, actually use it. As Laverne has a similar goal, except it goes differently since electricity actually exists in that world. She's mostly there to support the others using future technology. Oop. Is this it? No. It couldn't be because it's a to-do li to list. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. Oh, never mind. There it is. Of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow. Oh, geez. I picked that. I guess I fixed that problem real fast. Oh, I'm so good at puzzles. How'd you get down here? We, I forgot he teleported. How did you get over there? All right. My ingenious super battery design, please. Okie doke. There you go. Now we send it to the fat man. You really flush them. Yes. Down the toilet. No. Through time. time. Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex. Maybe I should try to refrain from actually explaining things because they're gonna explain things in the game enough. Each other through time. Much slower. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello. Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Oh, Let's I forgot we can also, also talk to each other. On. Hoagie? Hoagie, can you hear us? Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. Okay. Hoagie! Hoagie, I'm down here! Come over here! It's your old pal, Dr. Fred! Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? One heck of a bowel I movement! Pick up those plans you see in the chronogon, Hoagie! Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogon. That way you can actually get it working. Okay, you say so, Bernard. Don't worry about them being all wet. That's just the time goo. Experience with electronics. Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Oh, jeez. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Well, how? Okay, that's a, that raises other questions. Time for me to save the world, I guess. Okay, now we are Hoagie, and we can swap between them. So this is, uh, this is our setup. This is our setup currently. We, ew, 
gross. Say excuse me, you rude fat slob. Disgusting. But we have to find a way now to actually get this thing hooked up to the battery. Also, we have to build the battery. And we have to figure out how to get it charged. Uh, because definitely when you build it, it's not gonna have any charge. You know, electricity's still being done. Also, we have to figure out how to get Laverne, um, active, because she's still stuck in a tree. And, uh, I think I know exactly how- I think I remember exactly how to do that, even looking at this screen. Because, if you may notice, there's also a tree here. Hmm, perhaps they're connected somehow. But, we'll figure out later, on a later episode, because I'm done with this one. So until then, everyone should try to survive the night, and good night!